Well guys, welcome back again. <sighs> Finally, we got the driver's side, uh, the bolt and nut loosening from the bottom of the uh, shock absorber. But let me tell you, I've been out here for three hours trying uh, lots of different ways to get this thing to work but hopefully we get it out here in a bit I'll give you guys a little explanation of what I had to do well as you, you can see the bolt up there it's you can see it's finally loosening right there you can see it's out of there a little bit but I had to fish a socket in through this side and then somehow I was able to maneuver it in there and get it uh fish the uh socket in through there up into there and then there's a hole up here where we put that extension and we were able to get it on the socket in there and now we're finally getting it to loosen so all right guys here we are we finally got this sucker out. Here's the bolt part of it. But as you can see, the sides where it had these little arms that were holding on to something in there, they just came off. It started stripping, of course. I start. I oh, tried to use a wrench in there, but it didn't work out. So uh, at one point, I even started. As you can, it'll focus. I started drilling into it. See if I could maybe bust it off of there, but then I ended up trying to put that nut in the not the nut, the socket in there, and it, that worked out. So I ended up going that route, and we got her out. And here is the new ones. From Mopar, I ordered them. Here's what they look like. They're a little different from the, of course, the old ones, but I feel like these will work out a little better. All right, we'll get them on there. just to get that in there I don't think that little lip piece will be a problem right there anyways or you see it sitting up but yeah we got that bottom piece up uh, I'll probably record the opposite side because you can't really see from above on this side so I'll probably just be recording the top side on the passenger side but yeah we'll get her done here and just like that, this side is done and ready to go. Now we will be getting the uh, opposite side done. Woo! shocks are in now now we will get the rest of this side put together and we'll go out on a little test drive and see how she rides 
And just like that, it's all back together. We'll probably go for a little test drive right now and see how it feels. As you can see, we got it all back together. Batteries back in and ready to go. Did we ever take off that bolt?
All right, guys, we are back here at the house. I don't know if you can hear me very well. The truck's still on. I'll probably turn it off here. There we go. But uh, yeah, the truck rides a lot better now, a lot smoother. We went over some bumps, some speed bumps out over by the lake. And it used to, you used to really feel those bumps. Now they're a lot smoother, so that's good. We got it done. It took a bit to fix it, but <laughs> and I'm happy with the outcome of you know how it came out so uh yeah i think that's about it for this video we'll probably just hang out the rest of the day but uh thank you for watching like and subscribe if you like the video and we'll see you in the next one well guys here's the aftermath of changing the shock here's the boxes and the old ones but uh, also forgot to mention, I got myself a new box last weekend that I didn't get to talk to you guys about. But just, you know, I guess a sneak peek to the next video. We'll move all my stuff into that one. So, yeah, I just figured I'd let you guys show you guys my new box. Don't forget to like and subscribe and lots to come. So we'll see you in the next one. Always knew I'm missing Waiting in